Hi everyone, it's me Ruslin and my baby Daenerys. Okay, on, on this video we will talk about the sequence or the chronological order for K1 processing because lots of my subscribers asking me what is next after NOAA 1, um, when they will fill out the DS-160, when they will pay the visa, etc. So I decided to make this video so that it will be clear to everyone what is the sequence, okay? So first of all, the very first step is of course the petitioner will send the application to the USCIS. Then after that, the USCIS will send notice of action or I-797C to the petitioner. That is NOAA 1, meaning that the USCIS already received the application. And on NOAA 1, you can see your receipt number. Then after NOAA 1, if the USCIS need additional evidence, they will send RFE to the petitioner which is the request for evidence, additional evidence. That is the RFE letter. So the petitioner will send the documents needed uh, by the USCIS. Then after the RFE, just in case the USCIS will send RFE, okay? The petitioner will receive the RFE letter. But if not, so... Uh, neglect the RFE letter okay then after that uh, the USCIS will send uh, NOAA 2 or I-797 notice of action to the petitioner which means that the application is already approved by the USCIS then after receiving the NOAA 2 the NVC letter will send a uh, NVC letter the NVC will send the NVC letter to the petitioner. So the petitioner will receive the NVC letter stating the Manila case number. But uh, don't wait for the NVC letter. Uh, just call the NVC after like 10 days and ask the NVC what is your uh, Manila case number okay but the petitioner will receive the NVC letter then after receiving the NVC letter the petitioner will also receive the eligibility letter or a letter stating that the beneficiary is eligible to set the visa appointment interview okay so that are the documents that peti the petitioner will receive NOAA 1 RFE letter if there is RFE letter, NOAA 2, NVC letter, and eligibility letter. Okay, then after that, from the side of the beneficiary, the beneficiary will receive eligibility letter 2. But take note, don't wait for your eligibility letter because that is not a requirement. It will take too long for you to receive that letter. So uh, if I were you, don't uh, wait for that. Okay, once your status is um, ready, you can start to uh, make your or fill out your DS-160 pay the visa fee at BPI, set the visa appointment interview, set the or register to St. Luke's for your medical. Then of course, if your medical is approved, you can uh, start to go to your interview appointment. And then if you are approved on your interview, that's the time you will register to a CFO or Commission of Filipinos Overseas for your seminar and make sure once to make sure that if you set the appointment to CFO you already receive your passport or your visa okay because if you don't have your passport and you already have your seminar uh, you will come back again for the sticker okay so that's it for the beneficiary eligibility you will receive eligibility letter but don't wait for that because sometimes the beneficiary will receive it sometimes it's not okay and after that 
uh, do the DS-160, then pay the visa fee, set the visa interview appointment, register to St. Luke's, then after that, go to your interview, then if you receive your passport and visa, uh, register to CFO. That's the sequence. It's very easy. Okay, so from, from I will repeat from the part of the petitioner, NOAA 1, RFE letter, NOAA 2 letter, uh, NVC letter, eligibility letter. That's from the petitioner. Okay, and then from the beneficiary, eligibility letter. Beneficiary will receive eligibility letter, but don't wait for that because some says it take too long. Okay. Even with or without eligibility letter, it's fine, okay? Then, once your status is um, ready, you can fill out the DS-160. Then, after that, pay your visa fee. Then, after that, set the visa interview appointment. Then, after that, register to St. Luke's. Then, after that, go to your visa appointment. Then after that, if you receive your passport and visa, you can register to CFO. Then that's it. Okay? So I hope it was clear. If you have any questions, clarifications, please feel free to comment on my uh, video. And please do subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope it helps you. Okay? Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.